Hello, it's your boy Fabian back here again with Modern Warfare 2 because Black Ops is pissing me off. Yes, it is. Yesterday, I had to do something I didn't want to do. It's not something I really normally do. I did it once in, um, I think I did it one in, once in Modern Warfare 2 and it had nothing to do, it really didn't do anything to me. I actually prestiged from Black Ops 2. It's not something I wanted to do, but I actually wanted to unlock a gun. And apparently, because I was figuring, hold up, when I unlock something, the tokens go down. This doesn't make any sense. So, I, I didn't figure it out. I didn't figure out back then that how when you unlock shit, you need more tokens. So apparently I need more tokens, and the only way, only way to do it was to really go prestige. And I don't want to prestige. I didn't want to prestige to to get pre icons. You know, it doesn't matter what you do in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and you have a shit ton of times in your hand. Not really, not for this game. For Black Ops 2, I would have a shit ton of time if the game was actually pretty good. It's just so laggy. The game is incredibly laggy. I just can't stand it. I really can't. So I had to prestige to unlock a gun. I wanted to try and get into sniping. I do a little bit of sniping, you know, a little bit of. I want to unlock the uh, the gun name. I believe is the, the DSR uh, sniper gun. It's, 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 I think it's absolutely hilarious because I unlock every other sniping gun besides the DSR. I am a freaking idiot. I unlock every other gun besides that one gun that I, I actually wanted to try out. And I try to unlock it, and I'm clicking on it. I'm like, dude, he's not doing. He's not letting me do shit. I'm like, I can't unlock and equip. And I'm looking at the bottom. It says zero tokens. I'm like, you bullshitting me right now. You bullshitting. The one gun I actually am finally interested in trying out. I can't actually use it. Bullshit. So I have to unlock. I have to go prestige. I didn't want to do it. When I prestige, I just I just feel like quitting the game and not playing it anymore. I just didn't want to play the game anymore for some reason. I just lacked interest in the game to be honest and I just went to play it. At least I had the one permanent unlock which I unlocked the MCSC gun I believe which is a small gun is very really powerful and I unlocked that permanently. If it wasn't for that I probably wouldn't be playing the game anymore, you know. But one 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 of the major factors also is is the game is just so laggy. And I would have to go through all that laggy bullshit to level all the way back up to level fifty five. And the game is just horrible, you know, in the sense that it's extremely laggy, like I've been stressing just now. It comes to a point where it's kind of unplayable, you know, people are not where you think they are in the game because of the lag, you know. The game actually has lag, like, I prefer Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, even though you, there's, the actual person is the host. And Modern Warfare and Black Ops actually has servers. So, on Modern Warfare 2 Modern Warfare 3, I could be the host. And, obviously the host gets the most kills, but if the host is good enough, he, the host has a very good connection, and the host is not downloading porn, or whatever, uploading porn of him and his girlfriend, you know, the, the connection will be very, really, really good. So, for most people, but not every single one, sometimes, if he's really good, like if he has the Google Fiber Optics, or he has like a really high upload speed, yeah, then that's that's good. You know, that should be good for everybody. And it, it's six out of ten times, seven out of ten times, I go in a good match. And then there's sometimes where it's lagging. I don't really complain much with uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Sometimes it do. Sometimes the match lags out and then it goes fine for the rest of the game. Maybe for a few minutes in the beginning, the match lags out and it goes fine for the rest of the game. And, you know, I, it was great. And I, I, lo I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I logged a thousand hours in Modern Warfare 2. It was just such a great. I had, I had a shittery of fun. This a shittery of fun in Modern Warfare 2, and I would have a lot of fun in Modern Warfare 3, but there's just, just a lot of hackers on it. I cannot go in a game without that not being a hacker. Well, I can't. Maybe two out of ten games uh, won't have a hacker. No hackers in, in in the game at all in two out of ten games. But it's very low, you know. It'd be very hard. But. Uh, it's crazy. There's just so many hackers in the game, and it just it throws me off. It's not. I want to play Modern Warfare 3. That's why I haven't allowed logged that many hours into the game. So Black Ops 2 is just laggy. And as a matter of fact, I, I, they probably lost me as a customer. I will not invest a dime in Black Ops 2. The map packs are coming out. I'm not gonna buy it. What's the purpose of buying it if you can't play the game properly? If the game doesn't work properly, um, I just can't obtain a very high KD. You know, and it's just it's ridiculous. Sometimes, in the beginning of the game, when I first had the game, I had so much fun with Black Ops when I first got the game. Because 
it was it was out and and everybody was playing it and there was no updates to it. And as soon as baby Jesus, I swear to God, as soon as the game updated, as soon as they patched the game, I don't know, if it was two months later or whatever the case was. That's when it started, and that's where it still happens now. I didn't have a fixed it, so it did lost me as a customer. I might not even buy Black Ops Three. I might just stick with the Modern Warfare series. I'd rather go through the bullshit of hackers that face it lag. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video with the world, man. And I'll see you guys later.